guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Danielle and I am the owner of Damn Fancy Creations. If you guys are new to my channel, I do want to let you know that you can catch my content in two other places. I have a tutorial group on Facebook and I have a smaller Patreon group where I offer exclusive discounts, tutorials, group challenges, and free files each month. If either of those sound like something you want to check out, I'm going to drop the links in the description below. Before we get started, I do want to give a huge shout out to one of my patrons. Her name is Samantha, and she is the owner of J.S. Amitz Designs. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, but I am going to drop her info in the description. Y'all, please go check her out and show her some love. So for today's tutorial, I am really happy with how these cups turned out. I just love the colors together and everything about it, really. And of course, it has leopard print, so why wouldn't you love it? Um, so for today's cup, we are going to be doing a spray paint ombre all the way around the cup with some of my favorite colors to use. They are vintagey pink purple colors that I love. Um, I don't get to use them too often so when I do I just always love how the cups turned out. Um, we're also going to be using leopard print um, and we're going to be using printable vinyl pumpkins and flowers that are going to kind of wrap around the tumbler. I did a leopard sunflower tumbler similar to this over summer and since my favorite season is fall, I decided to make a fall themed one with all these pumpkins. So I really love how this turned out. It is perfect for fall, but not necessarily the typical orange and brown and red colors that you would see for fall. It's more of like a girly fall, I guess. So I'm really happy with how it turned out and I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. So if you guys are ready to see how I create this pumpkin swirl, leopard tumbler. Let's get started. All right, guys, so these are the colors we're going to be using. It's rustic pink, vintage blush, and silver lilac. These are all from Rust-Oleum. I just picked these up at Walmart, but I'm sure other hardware stores will have these as well. Um, I also base painted my cup with a flat white, also by Rust-Oleum. And I'm going to start with the darkest color we have, which is the silver lilac, and just spray about a third of the tumbler. I spray a little bit more than I need, so I have room to overlap the other colors I'm going to spray and create that gradient ombre effect. So for our next color, I am going to spray pretty much directly beneath the first color we sprayed, and then holding my spray paint further away from the cup, I am going to overlap the purple and the white a little bit. Um, it's kind of rainy this day, so the sun was not as bright as I would have liked it to be. But you guys can kind of get the gist on how I'm spraying. I spray right up to that line and then kind of hold it further away to create that gradient effect. And then we're going to do the same thing for our last color. I was trying to adjust the light a little bit so you guys could see the colors a little bit better, but it was not working too well. And you guys do have to know your spray paints. This is also why I always suggest test sprays um, because this one, as you can see, was definitely more like a cloud of paint kind of spraying out versus a line so it covered more area it was extremely windy this day I believe that this is when Hurricane Ida was kind of moving through the states so I had to wait a little bit 
Um, I also do test sprays so I know where the spray paint is going to blow. I don't want it blowing back in my face or, you know, a direction on the cup that I don't want it to blow onto. So you guys can see my cloud of pink. And since this is spray paint, you guys can definitely go back um, with your other colors and touch up the ombre if you need it more gradient in certain areas. So I am just going back around, touching up different areas. I am adding a little bit more purple here. So once our tumblers are dry, this is what they look like. I'm really happy with how these gradients turned out. So now we're ready to apply our leopard print. This is the textured Cricut vinyl um, that you can pick up at Michael's Hobby Lobby. And these printable vinyl pumpkins I purchased from I want to say creative market or creative fabrica I'll go back and link them in the description and these tweezers are from CC DIY I love them I use them for everything they are perfect for picking up little pieces like this and since I want my flowers in a little bit of a swirl pattern I am just going to apply my leopard print in a gradual swirl, just so I know where I am going to apply my pumpkins. Um, I'm not going to apply the leopard print all over just because I don't necessarily want my pumpkins overlapping the leopard print. Sometimes if you layer printable vinyl on top of regular vinyl, you can see it under epoxy. And I just kind of wanted to avoid that if I could. And no, I did not epoxy this tumbler before I began adding the leopard spots. So I am just doing a mixture of the larger leopard spots and then the smaller ones. You don't want too many large pieces next to each other or too many smaller pieces next to each other. You kind of want to do an even amount of each as we cascade down the cup. And then when I get a decent amount of spots on there, I will just kind of look at the cup as a whole to see if there are any bare spots or spots that may be a little light on the leopard spots and go back and kind of add accordingly. And I do try to add some little fun things to the bottom if I can. So we're going to do the same thing with the curved tumbler. If you guys want to skip ahead about 30 seconds, you can definitely do that. But as you guys know, I do like to show things more than once if I can, because I know a lot of you guys are visual learners. And just to see how I apply my spots or angle them.
and for the 30 ounce I did put more spots up top since the top was thicker than the bottom I didn't want the top to be too top heavy with the flowers I wanted the flowers to kind of be even all the way around the cup so I just added a few more leopard spots than I normally would just to kind of even out the top and bottom And again, just adding a couple to the bottom. And now we're going to apply our flowers. I use Cricut printable vinyl. I think it is the best that I have used. Um, you do not have to seal this vinyl. It prints really well with my com um, computer and printer. So for this design, I have learned after doing several of them <laughs> that I now start from the top and work my way to the bottom. That way I'm not having to peel up the little pieces to add the underneath pieces or to layer them so if you start from the bottom and go down you're able to layer them a little bit better and plan your design whereas if you start from the bottom and go up you are having to peel up pieces and add them underneath um, that is if you want the top layer to be at the bottom if that makes sense if you want your top layered images to be at the top, then you don't need to worry about peeling up images and layering them. You can just layer them on top of each other. But since I wanted the bottom to kind of be the top layer um, that had every little piece showing, I was having to peel up pieces and lay others. But that's the good thing with printable vinyl is you can peel it up pretty easily if you do it carefully. And again, this is when these tweezers come in handy. You can just kind of reach underneath there and carefully peel little pieces up if you need to. And I printed different sizes of the pumpkins and flowers. I wasn't too sure how large I wanted them, um, but I believe my pumpkins are about two and a half inches high. Um, some are a little smaller, some are a little larger, just so I had a variety. And my pumpkins are, or sorry, my flowers are about the same. I have some flowers that are about 1.5 inches, some leaves that are about one inch a little less than one inch um, obviously if you're going to do a smaller cup you will need smaller images so you can definitely adjust that if you need to so I am basically just going to let this play for you guys um, so you guys can see how I kind of determined where I was going to place things how I peeled some images up to layer them if you guys think that you have the gist of this, you can definitely skip the part where I do the 30 ounce, or you can just let it play.
So once I got the bulk of my design on, I went back with some of the smaller pieces, like the leaves and the little flowers, and really just kind of added some interest to the edge, just so it wasn't, you know, kind of a straight line. So this one is finished, and now we're going to do the 30 ounce. And I will say, you guys know I like to add little details to the bottom of my tumbler, but if I'm using printable vinyl, I don't necessarily like it curving over the edge. Um, you guys can see I have like a couple tiny pieces that may be curving over the edge, and I even regretted doing the hat. Um, printable vinyl is definitely thicker than regular vinyl, and it is kind of a pain to get to lay flat on curved edges so the bottom of a tumbler is obviously going to be curved so it does tend to lift a little bit or just not be as smooth as I would like it to um, so it was I was having to go and press it down after I applied my layer of epoxy um, trying to get it to lay flat with a quick coat, all kinds of stuff. So when I did the others after I did these two, I did not add printable vinyl along the edges. Um, I just moved it away from the edge about two, millim two millimeters. That way there wasn't going to be any issues once I applied my epoxy. And once I get all of these pumpkins and flowers on, I did take quick coat and sealed it really, really well. I probably did two coats. Um, again, you do not have to seal printable vinyl, but I do like to apply a layer of quick coat. That way it just kind of helps create a smooth surface when I go to epoxy so that the epoxy is not going to get hung up on any of these images and cause those sharp edges from pieces that may not be 100% flat. So we are just finishing up the final touches. So like I said, after this, I will apply quick coat and once that dries, we will be ready to epoxy. So once my quick coat is fully dry, we are going to add a layer of epoxy. I am applying a little bit of a thicker layer just since we have this thick printable vinyl on. I do wanna make sure that everything is covered really good. Um, for the bottoms, I am just being very sparing. I don't want globs of epoxy to build up on the bottom and make my tumbler uneven. So I am just smoothing out the epoxy as well. I just smooth it from bottom to top, get any excess epoxy off of there. And I did have to edit it. I was kind of in the way of my camera a little bit. But just smoothing it out. And once we have our epoxy on there, I'm going to take my torch. I do have the big torch from CCDIY. I do like it a lot. I just torch for one full rotation. And once this layer of epoxy is dried, we're ready to detail. So I did not um, actually film a tutorial for this. It's just a quick TikTok. I am just using bronze Liquitex ink and a really tiny paintbrush. You guys can use paint pens, liquid gold 
or you don't have to detail it at all. Um, but I'm just going around and accenting little places. And once you're happy with how your tumbler looks, you can put it back on your turner for the final layer of epoxy. And that is pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Here are some finished pictures. You guys can see the bronze detailing a little bit better in these pictures. It's just to accent some spots on the leaves and pumpkins, but I'm super happy with how this tumbler turned out, and I cannot wait to see what you guys come up with. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial or learned something new, please be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to catch the next video coming up that was chosen just for you. As always, if you're looking for more tips, tricks, or tutorials, be sure to check out my tutorial group on Facebook or my Patreon group. Both are linked in the description. Thanks for watching.